All right, so this is the Dorel bunk bed from uh, Amazon. Dorel living or Doral living. This is a twin full bunk bed. We will be assembling this and I uh, will let you guys know how it goes. All right, now we got the uh, bed out of the box and that's what it looks like. It is a lot of pieces. Um, I did forget to bring my tripod, so I will not be able to assemble this um, on video. All right, we got the uh, instructions over here, and uh, that's what it's supposed to look like, and this is what it looks like right now. So, it's a stackable bed, twin on top of a full. And uh, yeah, I will start assembling this now and uh, record when I have a little bit of progress. So the first part is uh, installing the slats onto the, uh, the headboard and the footboard. All right, so we have the headboard and the footboard assembled and then uh, we have installed the dowels and then now they're gonna go on the legs like so like so like that it does come with a supplied allen wrench but we have our own and I'm using a drill an impact drill to uh, assemble it faster All right, so we did the twin part of the uh, bed, headboard, and footboard. Now we are doing the uh, full headboard and footboard. So now me and my uh, lovely assistants are uh, assembling the full part of the headboard and the footboard. And my handsome assistant. All right, so putting the, uh, what are these called again? Dowels. No, not the dowels, the, the flaps, the whatever flaps. Um, it's better to start off on one side and then go down the row. And then uh, we have the dowels in. And now we will put in the legs. We have it uh, set upside down so that we can just uh, put the legs on top. So now, we're assembling this kind of upside down because it'll be easier but I can't do this one-handed so mm. we will get back to okay we'll get back to the video in a second so now we've got them set we've got one more on the end Because I think they're only going to go in one way. All right, putting the dowel in. There you go. Now it's time for the screws. All right, screws. Impact goes inside the hole. Not too tight. So I want to crack the wood. One more on the bottom. I'm actually using a star bit, cheating a little bit. All right, so now we are putting the sides of the bed together. All right, so now we're tightening the legs. On all four sides. It goes a lot faster with a drill. Mm -hmm. That one's not on. And uh, over here.
outside and we will get back to you. All right, so my lovely and handsome assistants are laying down the slats. The bottom piece is almost done. Don't let them fool you, these guys are professionals. All right, so the kit comes with uh, spacers for the, uh, for the bottom slats. And on this part, you will need a drill because you have to drill the screws. They have nice little pocket holes, so it makes everything very easy. And then the spacer comes out. We'll go on to the next one. And then we're just going to keep on doing this and then we will start it again after we put the spacers on or the slats. I don't know what they're called but I'm going to call them planks. There you go, the planks. The planks are on or the slats or whatever the instructions call them. And the bottom part of the bed is actually done now. Alright, so the second part of the bed is held up with these uh, ginormous uh, dowels. And we will be putting them up on the slots. There you go. And that's what it kind of looks like. We will continue with the video after we've assembled a little bit more. Perfect. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to assemble the second bed, uh, the twin part of the bunk bed, while it's on the uh, bottom, because I think it'll be easier. <laughs> All right, so now the bed is almost fully assembled. We've got the, uh, the beams going across on the top part of the bed. On this one, it's got holes over here uh, to screw onto the bed, but the holes are pretty deep. So I'm using... a. Uh, DeWalt uh, six, inch, 6 inch extension with the uh, with a longer uh, Phillips uh, screwdriver bit so that I can uh, get it inside the hole. Okay, so we got the DeWalt extension with the other Phillips inside so that it'll reach. Not too tight, so you don't want to mess up the bed. Looks like a charm, just going down the line. One click. And now this bed is really, really, really secure. Um, what I really like about this bed is it's very easy to assemble and everything fits exactly where, it, where it's supposed to go. Alright, so now we are assembling the uh, stairs, the latter part of the bunk bed. My lovely assistants doing a fantastic job. Alright, All right, so now the ladder is assembled and that is the Dorel Living bunk bed. Fantastic. Yeah.